Yo, it's Trevelli. I'm back, and I'm telling you today why the Cleveland Browns made the right coaching hire in Kevin Stefanski. He is going to be a franchise coach for the next, hopefully, 10 to 15 years with this Cleveland Browns team. And no, I'm not overreacting, okay? Here's the deal. Let's look at the inception of the Browns in 1946 when they were a member of the All-America Football Club Conference, AAFC, okay? They won their first four uh, AAFC championships, and then obviously they get to the NFL, and it's the Paul Brown Show, and they win some NFL championships, and they lose some NFL championships. Anyways, 40s, 50s, and 60s, the Browns are dominant. And we get into the 70s, they lose a like a string of divisional playoffs um, all throughout the 70s and the 80s until finally they get Marty Schottenheimer and they're running Marty Ball, right? And they lose in the AFC Championship to the Broncos in the overtime game. And then the next year, they lose again with Marty Schottenheimer to the Broncos again. And then the next year, Marty Schottenheimer finally gets kicked out in the wild card playoffs and it's enough to the Oilers. And then they have Bud Carson and they get back to the AFC Championship game and they lose to the Broncos again for the third time. So what we see is a trend here the last time they went to anything other than a wild card was 1994 they had bill belichick a lot of people don't know they did a documentary on that 94 team they had tons of great coaches all over that 1994 staff uh for that cleveland browns like they had michael lombardi as the director of player personnel obviously bill belichick is the head coach of that 94 team they have nick saban as the defensive coordinator um they have steve crosby as the offensive coordinator like they had great coaches all around um kevin spencer is a coaching assistant at the time that is hilarious um so to me it's just really funny they had really good coaches all around and that was the last team to go four and one and actually they started the season that year i think six and one so if the browns are going to live up to that hype it is because of kevin stefanski the first coach since bill belichick to bring a Cleveland Browns team to four and one. I mean, it's honestly something that we, I have certainly not seen in my lifetime. That's for sure. Born in uh, 96. I definitely did never see this coming. Uh, but you know, I got to say they get absolutely swamped by the Ravens and everyone's like, here we go again. Right. Except they beat the Bengals who are bad, but nonetheless, they beat the Bengals. Then they beat Washington. Okay, now you're building a little bit of momentum here, right? If you can go to Dallas at Jerry World and pull... Oh my God, 49-38. Wow. All righty. So now we've got a real thing here. They're 3-1. and one. Are they going to be able to come back home and really impress? And 32-23. So against the Colts. So here's the deal. The teams they've played against, really not anything special okay the cowboys are obviously not playing up to their potential the colts have an old veteran quarterback injuries at running back injuries at tight end all the time their defense is getting shredded um they're not anything impressive to me washington certainly is not an impressive football team by any stretch and the Bengals are running with like literally no offensive line and joe burrow uh, who is throwing the ball 40 to 45 times a game. And the only real playoff bound team out of all of these teams is the Ravens. And that team beat them 38 to six. So will they have a better crack at the Ravens later in the season? Yeah, for sure. They will. However, probably not going to be too much different to be completely honest we're getting a real test this week at pittsburgh we are going to see if the browns are for real or if they're just able to beat mediocre teams that are sitting around 500 and under this is what i think kevin stefanski has definitely shirred up the offensive side of the ball they have no issue scoring points when they're scoring over 30 points a game however when you're giving up 29 points a game you are really putting yourself in a position to lose every game. They are extremely lucky to be 4-1. and one. I will say that. Their points for, 156. Their points against, 149. So they're just one touchdown away from literally losing every single game that they've played, basically, right? So every other team in this division is either 4-0, oh, 4-1, and and, and then Cincinnati, of course, at 1-3-1. and one. So they're really not pulling away from anyone either at 4-1, and one, so they need to continue to win. I see that he's uh, shirt up the offensive side of the ball, but their defense is atrocious. That's what we just went over, right? So we went over the fact that their offense is really getting the job done 
Um, the reason they're getting the job done this year is because Kevin Stefanski is making Baker Mayfield's job easier. He has thrown nine touchdowns and only four interceptions because he's giving him easier plays. He's running the ball much more. Even with the injury to Chubb, it didn't matter. Kareem Hunt picks up the slack. They use the running backs and the tight ends in the pass game, and everybody's happy. Odell is having a big game here and there. Jarvis Landry is obviously getting consistent usage. It was all Freddie Kitchens. The fact that this offense didn't work. I mean, how do you not make an offense with that much talent? How does it not work? It has to be coaching, right? So if they are balanced on both sides of the ball right now, balanced on both sides of the ball. And the reason I say that is very simple. The Browns are passing for 991 yards on the season so far, but they're rushing for 942. So this is a very balanced attack for Kevin Stefanski's team. They're coming at you with the run. They're coming at you with the pass at basically a 50% clip. So when you see, okay, a lot of these passes are at the line of scrimmage. Baker's only throwing for 6.7 um, per average on a throw. He's obviously not really taking too many deep shots. And when he is, it's Odell Beckham. You don't really mind taking a deep shot with Odell Beckham, right? Or a really big, nice tight end like David Njoku, et cetera, et cetera. So who is, by the way, coming back from IR. So the fact that Kevin Stavansky extended the deals for David Njoku and Miles Garrett in the offseason ended up to be a really good idea because look it's working out for him now if this guy comes off ir and ends ends up being a good tight end for the last like eight weeks of the season or whatever it is it's a great move so all around i love what he's doing in player personnel i like what he's doing with the offense 900 and 900 but however now they need to turn the things over to the defense and really focus in on how they can fix it they're playing a base 4-3 defense i know they've been dealing with a lot of injuries like half of the starting lineup is is questionable for this week but if you guys if the cleveland browns can sure up their defense okay just become better all around they need to work on this uh kevin stefanski has a shot to get this team to the playoffs this year for sure and uh we haven't seen a playoff berth since 2002 butch davis who obviously is a great coach so if you're able to go four and one in that mirrors bill belichick in 94 if you're able to get the team to a playoff this year like butch davis did in 02 you're already trending in the right direction so this is the best, honestly, this is the best coaching hire they could have made in a long time. All right, so Mer Eric Mangini goes 10 and 22. Pat Shermer goes 9 and 23. Rob Ch Rod Chudzinski, I don't even, I'm being honest, I really barely remember him. Uh, 4 and 12. Um, Mike Patine, I do remember, he was atrocious. 7 and 9 and 3 and 13, so a combined... 10 and 22 once again then we have our beautiful beautiful hugh jackson no one will ever be able to go 1 and 31 <laughs> uh with his two seasons uh obviously he gets to go two five and one in that in that uh third season and then greg williams actually finishes out the year five and three hello maybe you guys should have kept him Oh, and then they get Fred, Freddy Kitchen, six and ten, and now here we are, four and one. Kevin Stefanski. So I hope everything works out for the Cleveland Browns and Kevin Stefanski, and uh, and I hope you guys stick around for more content. I'll see you guys later, and pay ace.